Lucy Knight's story begins when she was 14. It all started when she was visiting her friend's home due to the fact that they were giving her a gift. They wanted her to be in the ghost base layer, as they call it, where they present a suit to her. She tried it on and found that it was a bit big at the top as the suit falls down her shoulders, but she didn't mind it. When her friends left the room, or the base, I should say, she noticed a machine. She knew that they were building something, but they never told her what they were building. She simply went in to this machinery and took a look around, which was the biggest mistake she ever made, but the best one yet. She simply stepped on a broken wire that sent an electric shock to her head from a broken wire at top. It shocked her head and made her fall to the side, where she accidentally pressed something and a green glow shines in her eyes. The next thing she knew, she woke up surrounded by these people that she never met before. That's when her story began and her strength to grow. Simply what had happened is she activated the ghost portal that her friends were making so she would believe them, which she did after seeing those ghosts surrounding her and the fact is she was half of what they are. She was half ghost, half human. And she needs to learn how to control her powers. Every day she gets stronger and stronger. Learns every single ability as she could. Thanks to her ghost friends. She kept this secret away from her friends though. As she didn't want them to get in any danger. Yes, they got into a couple of ghost fights. Thinking that Killer, which is her ghost ego well, alter ego, that she was an evil ghost, even though she was simply trying to save everyone from the ones that are actually attacking her hometown. Then a couple of months went by. She got stronger every day and became the second strongest ghost in her hometown. And this is where she wished that none of it would happen. She was gonna close the ghost zone because she didn't have no way of fully containing each of these ghosts. They just keep on coming back. She doesn't have anything to contain them in, so she has to get rid of it. In her ghost form, Killer decided to try and blast the portal but she got blasted herself by a high powerful cannon from behind. Simply, the ghosts, one of them at least, had came behind her and behind it was her friends. The ghost simply pushes Killer into the ghost portal by shooting her in. And that was the last time she saw her friends before that ghost came through as well. She realized that this ghost was betraying her, all her friends that she has built up to. They had a massive battle, but it was a losing one. The ghost gave her the final blow of cutting her right eye and of course deforming her into a human form. The ghost simply reveals that he was the strongest ghost, that he only hides his abilities, his power, his most strength now because he knew that Killer, well, Lucy Knights, was getting stronger than him and he wants to break down her spirit. 
Lucy did not have any strength in her to keep on fighting, and she couldn't get up. The ghost simply said his last words to her was that he was going to say hi to her friends before leaving through the ghost portal. She tried to stop him, of course, but it was too late. When she got a foot meter away to the portal, it closed on her. Ten years later, the ghost zones decided to collide as one. As like Earth, with their own little realm, they have their realm. Different ghosts from different places meet other ghosts from different time. And this means more access to ghost portals. One of the portals were open. An old abandoned cabin that was full of stuffed animals. Simply, Lucy Knight has fought all odds against every single ghost that she came across in the ghost zone. And now, she was back in the human world. Finally, escaping everything that she's been through. Now she's free. What is she gonna do? She has fought her entire 10 years life. And she didn't know what has changed in those 10 years. She explored the place that she was in. But she didn't trust no one. Despite them po possibly trying to help her. Maybe seeing her scars, seeing how ripped up parts of her clothes were, thinking that she was just homeless. No. She has a perfect idea, and why she didn't want to talk to anyone. Simply, she didn't want to be backstabbed. And talking about backstabbers, she wants a bit of revenge and hopefully everyone that she knew was okay and this was my danny phantom oc lucy knights slash killer now before we head on a bit further i want to say that this was my first ever oc i have ever created and actually the start of what i do now so, my original character design was the 10 years ago, which is when my character was 14 years old. That was the original character design, but I have changed her human form a bit, which uh, she originally had like red uh, sweatbands on her wrists, and I think that's the only change I did. I kept her hairstyle where the white piece of hairs were the ones that were struck by the electricity, which is part of her transformance, make her a bit unique in a way, and uh, kept the shirt as well, which was the exact same from before. I think I might have switched the colors around. <coughs> and yeah, so Butch Hartman is the original creator of Danny Phantom, and he does have a YouTube channel. And he made a video of 10 years later of Danny Phantom and the Fairy Godparents. He created his own desires of what the characters will look like 10 years later, which was quite interesting. And because of that, with my young self only creating the 14 year old, recently the 10 years old, my character, Lucy Knight, is different. And this was my design. I wanted her to become determined, strict, and someone that you wouldn't walk up to. So say that you want to walk up to her, she will give you the gl death glare, and if you get too close, she just goes back your way. She does not trust anyone due to what happened to her long 
time ago. And she's probably gonna say like that. Maybe someone can win her trust. But that's gonna be a rare occasion. She has this determination and this revenge seeking through her eyes once she finds the ghost. But who knows what would happen if she does get her revenge. What will she do then? That's a big question. But yeah, the 10 year old, 10 year old? No, it's 14. The 14 year old Lucy Knight has changed. And despite that, when I first designed her, I wanted her to be a genius. And I did make her story where she did bump into Danny Fenton and help him beat ghosts. But that was my young self. I decided to change that where she did move away to Amity Park, stayed her in her in her hometown hometown hometown. God dang it! I wanted her to stay in her hometown and basically have her own story, where she fights her own ghosts and then ending up getting trapped by a ghost that she trusted very much which is why she wants this revenge so badly because this ghost was the person that she really trusted and now he just backstabbed her and trapped her in a ghost stone for 10 years until the ghost stones in my case has collided which made her escape into the world wo real world so it will get another aspect Maybe if that didn't never happen, she would be stuck in the ghost zone until someone else fixed the ghost zone to get her out. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys do enjoy her. I hope you guys do like her. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Killer Sissy is out for now. Ghosting out! <laughs>
yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away I never 